Hey Hollywood Lifers, it's Nicole here and I'm sitting with Rachel Trueheart, the winner in our eyes of Bachelor <laughs> Pad 3 and you may recognize her also from Ben Flash next season of The Bachelor. Rachel, thank you so much for joining us oh, today. For having me. We are so thrilled to have you here. <laughs> um, so let's just get down to business and start right. talking about that shocking finale. Um, it kind of seemed like, you know, right at the ending there, that things were left unsettled. So I just, I'm dying to know, have you spoken to Nick since you parted ways on that evening? Uh, we have not spoken a word, actually. The only things that I know what's going on with him is just through interviews that I read with him, which are just like a little bit frustrating, you know, because a lot of times I'll read that he hasn't reached out to me because he's waiting and I'm not really sure what he's waiting for. It's yeah. been weeks since we filmed and... You know, I think he kind of owes it to me to talk to me a little bit about it. And every interview I read with him, it's just kind of, he puts me down a little bit and says that he still stands by his decision and doesn't regret it at all. And even when people ask, you know, the way he treated me, does he regret that? And he doesn't. So I'm a little surprised by that. I kind of thought he would feel bad the way he handled it. You know, I understand mm -hmm. what he did and I get it. It's a game, but I just think there's a better way to handle it than how he did. Yeah. I mean, if he tried to reach out to you and apologize, would you accept his apology at all? Um... Right now, probably not. I think it's just too little too late. Um, mm -hmm. He's just somebody that I don't want to have in my life anymore. Um, you know, I, I did consider him a at a friend at one point. You know, we were talking. There was a couple months between filming and when we actually filmed the finale. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he kind of paints this picture like I was mean to him and yeah. like he was picked on in the house. And that's just so not the case. Um, I was friends with him the entire time we were filming. We would work out together. I took him on one of the dates I had. So I'm a little surprised by that. And, you know, it was a joke in the house at the end. You know, Chris yeah. Harrison would kid like, <laughs> who's this Nick guy? Like, how did he end up here? Uh -huh. And he kidded around about it too. It was always just like a playful joking thing. And it's funny that he makes it seem like he was picked on in the house because, you know, we're all adults and we thought it was funny that, he even thought it was funny that he had made it that far. Mm -hmm. So I was a little surprised by him, you know, taking this approach by making it seem like we were mean to him and we said mean things. Yeah, he definitely, I felt like he sort of played the victim card. Yeah. I mean, would you say honestly though, like that came as a total shock. I know like you kind of mentioned in the finale that you guys had spoken about it before. Mm -hmm. What was that conversation like? Yeah, I mean, there was more than one conversation. Um, from the moment we became partners when we were in the house, you know, he was the first one to say, of course I'll share the money with you. Mm -hmm. And we had many conversations leading up to the finale, right up until the day before the finale. And I was just totally shocked. Even when he was giving his explanation, I thought he was just kind of getting like, a shock appeal. Or yeah. Something. I kind of did the same thing, you know, <laughs> yeah. making it seem like maybe I won't pick Cher. Um, it never went through my mind to even pick Keep. It was always going to be Cher. Um, that's just the person I am. You know, like, like I said, I considered us friends. and. I would never take something like that away from a friend and mm -hmm. I knew he really wanted the money and needed the money just like I did. So I was shocked that he would, you know, do that to somebody that considered a friend. Yeah, it was definitely like the ultimate betrayal of the show, mm -hmm. essentially. I mean, would you say, hands down though, were you more upset that you didn't win the money or that he betrayed you? Like, what do you think it came down to that you were most upset about? I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, from the moment that, you know, when we did win essentially as a couple. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, I just kind of thought I had won it, the money. I just didn't think he would pick uh, keep. So I think in that in my mind, I already like had it chalked up that oh my god, I just won one hundred twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. And you know, he says that no one went, goes into this trying to win one hundred twenty five. You try to win two hundred fifty. Honestly, I really didn't. I went into it thinking you win as a partner. Um, I never would think to pick keep. You know, with mm -hmm. whoever my partner would have been. I think we both really did really well in the last challenge. We came together as a partnership. I think you can see that in the episode, the last, you know, the seventh yeah, episode. Yeah, definitely. You know, we kind of get on the same page a little bit more. It's a rocky start, of course, you know, I was upset. Um, but, you know, I did think we got on the same page and I thought it was impressive that we were like these underdogs and we surprised people and just really nailed that last challenge. And, you know, I just think, I kind of think he owed it to me to, Pick share. Yeah, well, we totally agree. We're totally Thanks. in your corner. We were absolutely <laughs> shocked by this. Yep. But um, moving on, you know, that wasn't the only betrayal on the show, and we were so sad to see what Mike did to you because mm -hmm. what a jerk, you know, <laughs> what a total jerk. Um, we're the same myself many times. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, seriously, like you were totally falling for him. It totally looked like he was falling for you too. Where do things stand for you to now? Are you talking, or is that like totally over? Um, I mean, there's no bad blood between us anymore. There was for a little bit. Um, 
but it was something that I was dealing with the second, you know, filming was over. It kind of just went from like 60 to zero, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, so it was, it was a lot to handle, but you know, I've talked to him a lot of times and I believe that he's sorry and he's apologized to me many times, both, you know, publicly and, you know, just the two of us. And it's hard. Um, I do think he led me on and I think yeah. he knows that he did. I'm not, I think it kind of cost me the game a little bit too. So part of me, like, you know, I'm trying not to be mad at him for, you know, the fact that I did lose the money as well because I did kind of get a little sidetracked with it and I got excited and caught up in the fact that I might be falling in love again. Yeah. And I let it kind of veer me off from like the true objective. Um, so that's a little bit tough, but at the end of the day, you know, he's not a bad person, you know, and I know he is sorry for what he did. And I think it's just kind of this mutual, like, you know, we're okay with each other. We're probably not gonna be friends. Um, if I see him, I'll be fine with him. Mm -hmm. I think he might be in town this weekend for, um, oh. <laughs> there's a lemonade stand, Alex's lemonade stand in Central Park. And yeah. so he usually comes out, Graham, his friend from um, Graham Bun, puts it on. So, you know, if I see him, I'll hug him, say hi. It's, there's no bad blood between us right now. It's yeah. just, it is what it is. I've moved on. Happy for him, but you know. Well, that's definitely really mature of you because when you were like, oh, he, you have a girlfriend in Chicago. I mean, was that true? Yeah. So how did you find out about that though? That was a tough one to handle because, you know, I found out he had a girlfriend about, about two weeks after I had gotten back um, and he waited about 10 days to tell me. So that was a little bit tough to find out that way. And then another couple weeks later, I then found out that she lived in Chicago, which was tough because, yeah. you know, he said to me that the distance was a big factor in it. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I felt a little bit played there. Um, so that was a tough one to get over and it was kind of like the constant, like, you know, I kept finding out from different people that things were going on and I kind of wish that he just told me everything from day one. You know, I felt like he kind of gave it in bits and pieces and, you know, hinted that he wasn't ready for long distance, but never really just came out and said, listen, like, I got caught up in the show. I'm yeah. really sorry. Like, I don't want to pursue anything. Like, it would have been better if he was just honest with me from the day I got off the show and mm -hmm. instead of stringing me along a little bit. Yeah, he definitely strung you along, yeah. but <laughs> you seem like you're doing well now. Um, would you say you went on the show for the money or to find love? Um, I think a little bit of everything. It's, you know, doing these shows is always an experience. And when I went on Bachelor, it was the same thing. I was open to falling in love. I didn't go on thinking, this is gonna be my soulmate. I went yeah. on thinking, this is gonna be a great experience and if I fall in love, great. And if I don't, you know, I'll get something else out of it. And which I did. So when I went on Bachelor Pad, I kind of did the same thing. You know, I didn't want to think, oh, I'm going to win this money or I'm going to fall in love. I just went on it, you know, open to whatever might happen. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just the best way to do it because then you don't like, you know, just more of a pleasant surprise if it does happen. Yeah, you don't really have any high expectations. Yeah. How would you say that your feelings for Mike compared to your feelings for Ben? Oh, day and night. Um, <laughs> Um, sorry, Ben, <laughs> but you know, I just really wasn't falling in love with Ben. Mm -hmm. I think you try to talk yourself into it a little bit because yeah. of the setting and you're on these romantic dates and you know, you want to, um, he was a great guy and we enjoyed our time together. But at the end of the day, I think we could tell that we were both just going to be friends. You know, there wasn't that spark that just wasn't there. So it was kind of fun to have that with Michael, you know, and be on the show and see how you can really fall for somebody so quickly. Yeah. I mean, you're living in the house with them, you know, it's 24 seven and I know a lot of people kind of say, oh, you know, it was only a week or two. Like, how could you actually fall in love with somebody? I mean, I don't know about you, but I have fallen in love with guys yeah, in a week. Yeah, it so, can happen in the real world. In so, 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think some people just fall hard and fast, and I'm one of those people. So yeah. it was fun to kind of experience that. So, you know, it's hard that it didn't work out, but I can't, you know, I'm grateful that at least it opens your eyes again to realize, you know, there's stuff out there. Exactly. <laughs> um, so can I ask, do you have a boyfriend now, or are you just... I don't. Um, we would love to see you as the bachelorette. We've been talking about it and we would uh, totally think you'd be great for it. Would you be open to that or do you feel like after Bachelor Pad 3 you're just kind of done with it all? Um, no, I don't think I'd be done with it all. I mean, I would definitely be open to it. I think, you know, as much as I've had some tough experiences through these shows and a little bit of heartbreak or disappointment, I've also had some amazing experiences and mm -hmm. I've met incredible friends and just it's really changed my life and for the better, I think. So I would definitely be open to it. I think I would need some downtime. Yeah. You know, obviously it doesn't film for a long time, so I have plenty of time to relax and, you know, right now I'm just kind of trying to get back into normal life and just be me again, you know, yeah. without all of the drama of everything. And 
But yeah, it's definitely something I'd be open to doing. Well, thank you so much for joining oh, us. For having we're me. huge, <laughs> huge, huge fans. And we were so shocked by the finale and totally on your team. Thanks. And we would love to see you as the next Bachelorette. We know it's, you know, a little far away from now, but <laughs> um, so thank you again for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Hollywood Lifers, for all of your celebrity news, style, gossip, and more, keep on coming back to HollywoodLife.com.